Fashion Zone Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and coming up in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a gathering foot. Here we have a gathering foot for your sewing machine. It's shorter than your regular sewing foot. How you identify a gathering foot is with the slot on the left hand side as you are looking at it and in the centre is a hole for your needle. If I just turn it onto the bottom side you'll see there's a flat area here and there's a step down and this area allows the fabric to gather and this is a foot that you'll use to create those beautiful gathers in your sewing project. This is an example of what the gathering foot can do. This is the right side and here we have the wrong side. Place the fabric that needs to be gathered under the foot. So position it like so and put your foot down. Remember to have your machines at the right setting so you need it at the largest stitch and loosen your thread tension. And then in the slot, put the fabric that needs the flat fabric into the slot area. Like so. Now it can be quite tricky to do, to use a gathering foot. So I'm gonna give myself a couple of stitches just to anchor the top fabric into place. And then I'm going to hold with my right hand and I'm using my left hand not to hold the fabric taut. You're just going to help it to gather as such, making sure that you are in control. And just take it slowly. And keeping your eye on your flat fabric in the slot to make sure it doesn't slip out. And just keep on going. There you have your gathers. If you don't want to attach your gathers to a flat section of your sewing project, you can use it on its own, just like any regular foot. Just place it under the foot and just gather. Just remember the settings, make sure you've got it on the largest stitch, make sure the needle is to the left of the um, edge of the foot and also make sure that your tension is loose. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Do check out my other video tutorials by clicking on the links below. If you have any comments or queries, please put those in the comment box because we at Fashion Sewing Blog TV would love to hear your views.